There was a lot of excitement at the box office this year, from Black Panther to Top Gun. People were rushing to the movies in droves, so keep watching this video to find out top 10 highest grossing films of 2022 and how much money they made. Top Gun Maverick Grossed $717,748,136 with a flying start post its release on 27 May, Top Gun Maverick scripted the biggest success story in Tom Cruise's career at the US box office. While theater audiences were captivated by the fighter jets screaming across the screen, critics highly praised the film during premieres and screenings at festivals such as Cannes. It's the second highest grossing film of the pandemic era after Spider-Man No Way Home, which earned USD $1.89 billion during its run. One of the biggest films dominating the 2022 worldwide box office, the film is a sequel to Top Gun, 1986. Its story is set over 30 years after the previous film's events. Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell, Cruz, one of the US Navy's best fighter pilots, has to train a group of young pilots ahead of a mission. Among them is the son of Maverick's late friend, whose death continues to haunt him. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness Gross $411,331,607 Another sequel comes in at number 2 for top grossing movies of 2022. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is a sequel to 2016's Doctor Strange and stars Benedict Cumberbatch, along with Elizabeth Olsen, Chiwetel Ejiofor, and Benedict Wong. The film was directed by Sam Raimi, who's known for directing the Spider-Man trilogy and the Evil Dead franchise. Black Panther Wakanda Forever Grossed $397,671,128 Since the gradual reopening of theaters in 2021, many of the widely acclaimed films have earned millions of dollars at the box office. Marvel Cinematic Universe's Spider-Man No Way Home and the James Bond film No Time to Die were among the highest grossing movies of 2021. This year, 2022, was truly a great year for sequels. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is the follow-up to 2018's Black Panther. The 2018 film starred Chadwick Boseman, who unfortunately died in 2020 after a battle with colon cancer. The year's film stars Letitia Wright as Black Panther alongside Lupita Nyong'o, Danai Gurira, and Winston Duke. Jurassic World Dominion Grossed $376,009,080 The sequel to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom was the fourth highest grossing film this year. The movie sold more than 41 million tickets. The film starred Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, Laura Dern, Jeff Goldblum, and Sam Neill. Dern, Goldblum, and Neill reprised their roles from the 1993 Jurassic Park, marking their first time appearing together in 29 years. Minions The Rise of Gru Grossed $369,500,210 Sequels were clearly the winners this year. Minions The Rise of Gru is the sequel to the spin-off prequel Minions, which came out in 2015. It's a spin-off of the Despicable Me franchise. The film starred Steve Carell reprising his role as Gru and Pierce Coffin as the Minions. The Batman Grossed $369,345,583 A reboot of the Batman franchise, The Batman, sold more than 40 million tickets. The film starred Robert Pattinson as Batman alongside Zoe Kravitz, Paul Dano, and Jeffrey Wright. Originally, Ben Affleck was set to play Batman, but dropped out over creative differences. The Batman is set to launch a Batman shared universe, with two sequels planned and two spin-off TV shows. Thor Love and Thunder Grossed $343,256,830 The sequel to 2017's Thor Ragnarok sold more than 37 million tickets. The film starred Chris Hemsworth as Thor, alongside Christian Bale, Tessa Thompson, Jamie Alexander, Natalie Portman, and Taika Waititi. Waititi also directed the film and co-wrote the screenplay. The film had a budget of $250 million, making it one of the most expensive films ever made in the MCU. Spider-Man No Way Home Grossed $241,123,638 Though the film technically came out in December of 2021, it went on to be one of the top 10 highest grossing films of 2022. The sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming starred Tom Holland as Spider-Man, alongside Zendaya, Doctor Strange's Benedict Cumberbatch, and Jacob Batalon. Holland has said that this is the final film in his contract to play Spider-Man, but would love the chance to play him again in the future. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Gross $190,872,904 
Following the first film released in 2020, the sequel stars Ben Schwartz as Sonic with Jim Carrey, James Marsden, Tika Sumter, and Natasha Rothwell. The film sold more than 20 million tickets. Fans will be delighted to know that a Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is in the works and is set to be released in 2024. Black Adam Gross $165,176,494 Dwayne The Rock Johnson stars as Black Adam in this superhero film that is a spin-off of 2019's Shazam, starring Zachary Levi. Black Adam also stars Aldous Hodge, Noah Centineo, Sarah Shahi, Marwan Kenzari, Quintessa Swindell, and Pierce Brosnan. Though this film was 15 years in the making, it's not looking that that'll be the same case for its sequel. Black Adam 2 is already in the works and is said to be released much faster than this film. Bonus Film Avatar The Way of Water Worldwide Gross USD $1,030,118,839 The second installment in James Cameron's epic Avatar franchise, The Way of the Water, hit the USD 1 billion mark in worldwide gross on December 28, 12 days after its release. The legacy sequel comes 13 years after the release of Avatar, the first film in the series and the highest grossing film of all time, with close to USD 3 billion in lifetime gross. It follows the main characters from the first film, Jake, Sam Worthington, and Natiri, Zoe Saldana, as they explore the oceans of the planet Pandora with their family. While they learn a new way of life and form alliances with other Navi people, a renewed threat from the invading humans disturbs their peace. Reports say that the sequel, which has been widely hailed by critics, is expected to gross anywhere between USD 1.6 billion and USD 1.9 billion by the time it ends its theatrical run. In the end, it seems like 2022 was a legendary year for the silver screen, as several highest grossing films took turns attracting massive audiences back to cinemas through the year. Films did brisk business and there was a new lease on life in the overall cinematic experience as the numbers of those enjoying fantastic stories unfold on the big screen rose significantly. 